It only takes six months until the next Bitcoin halvening will take place. Now, what does this mean for the price? What did it mean for the price in the past? In this video, we've got a lot of interesting charts. And spoiler alert, a lot of those charts point up into the right. Nobody knows the exact day when the halving will occur, but a rough estimate is 158 days from now. What we have over here is the price performance of Bitcoin one year after the halving. So this would be a prediction, if history is any indication, for the price one and a half years from now, because it takes another half year until we are there. In red, we've got the performance in 2012 plus 7,700%. In blue, we've got the performance in 2016, plus 460%. And in green, we've got the performance in 2020, 2021, plus 670%. So all of those years were massively positive. Of course, in the early days, it was more positive than recently because of diminishing returns over time. Bitcoin gets larger and larger and thus the returns have to diminish. You can't appreciate, relatively speaking, as quickly we are just a few million heavy versus several hundreds of billions heavy now this orange flattening curve over here shows how bitcoin supply develops over time with the halving the new issuance gets cut in half so every four years there will be less and less bitcoin that hits the market now one might think that this means that also the miners get less and less money they do get less and less money relative to the capital they are securing, but they're not getting less and less money relative in fiat. This blue line here shows the minor revenue. And that's very close to the peak that we'd seen at the end of 2018. This tends to rise over time because even though the Bitcoin issuance gets cut in half every year, the Bitcoin price tends to appreciate faster than that. So as long as the Bitcoin price appreciates by more than 19% per annum, that miner revenue should increase in US dollars. Now this is the revenue of the Bitcoin mining industry as a whole, but Bitcoin mining does get more and more competitive over time. The hash rate increases more and more, more and more people get on the Bitcoin network to mine Bitcoin. So it's as with any other market, in order to make more money, you have to be ahead of the curve. You need to have the newest equipment. You need to have the lowest electricity costs. Otherwise, the increased competition will eat up a lot of the profit. So as a whole, Bitcoin mining is growing, but for an individual miner, it might get tougher over time. Now, a lot of people are wondering, why is there still so much volatility in the Bitcoin price? Why can the Bitcoin price still drop by 70% when it's so many billions heavy? And the answer is liquidity. Look at this over time. This is the number of Bitcoin that had ever been issued, but the number of liquid Bitcoin is not increasing. It's even shrinking. This is the actively traded supply and it goes down. So the Bitcoin that is held long term increases even faster than the issuance of Bitcoin. And price is always a reflection of the last traded Bitcoin. So when there's only a few Bitcoin to go around, the price can be impacted massively. Most of the Bitcoin doesn't have to move for the price still to go down by 50%. You don't need a lot of Bitcoin changing hands. You need a lot of Bitcoin changing hands relative to the liquid supply. But when the liquid supply goes down, then the volatility does not go down. There's an inverse relationship. Volatility goes up as liquid supply goes down. And so here's another way to look at this liquid and illiquid supply of Bitcoin. In March of 2020, this went down for the very first time. A very constant steady trend. And the same can be said for the balance on exchanges. People take away their Bitcoin, they take it out of the exchanges because of the third party risk. They store it on a hardware wallet and they simply just keep it there as a long term investment. So it's not necessarily anymore about speculating on the ups and downs. It's simply just a vehicle to store value over many, many years and protect yourself from inflation despite the high volatility. If you found this useful, free free to give this a like and share this with your friend and feel free to join our telegram link is down below